It's great to see a wide mix here. John Humbird with his Zenith 701. He's got about 130 horsepower under the cowls here. Beautiful paint scheme. Such a, uh, a beautiful, unique, classic color on a modern airplane. Got a 350 IS UL power, so a little bit different. Only two stole competitions in his belt. One of them being stole drag, or he was on the podium. Oh, and there we go. One of the great features of the Zenith airplanes is just pull that stick back, rotate so aggressively, the tail way up in the air, it'll really fly with that high camber wing and the leading edge slats. Now, so they are setting the standard, yeah. Very well flown. Good job, Cameron. Now, our Zena stole. We saw the Viking powered one. Now let's see the UL powered John Humbird. He's got a great website or YouTube site out there you can go to. If you want to see some great Cessna 170 flying, go to Jughead Council. Check out, uh, check out Jughead and his dog Dakota as they go fly through the Pacific Northwest. Fun off airport sites, beautiful mountains farmlands they kind of got it all oh looking good John's bringing it in he is going hard for the money you see the gear as it shakes back and forth his max performance braking nose in is up just left of the center line I think he's gonna like that sub 200 feet sub 150 feet look at that All right, John Humbard, the Zenith. He moved up in the standings on the first round. Can he keep himself there? That was good. That's the thing about the Zenith. He's really consistent. Look at that airplane climb out. Hit back behind our competitors as they're on downwind. It looks like there's a formation of uh, float planes and I don't know what else here at Sun and Fun. Great to see all the wonderful airplanes that have flown in. Of course, this afternoon after the Stoll competition, we've got our air show, which you don't want to miss. Great events scheduled throughout the day here. Of course, it started with the run, the car show. John Lights and everybody at Sun and Fun doing such a good job. Now a different approach. We're gonna use the UL powered on this Zenith. John's gonna bring this kind of drug in. This airplane will fly at a really high AOA, slow speed. Visibility gets tougher. Does he have enough power to hold it? Hold it, hold it! Oh, he did, and it was too much of a burst right there. You saw the airplane pitched up. Nice, stable landing gear, though. Look how hard he hit, and it rocked around, and that airplane still just rolls straight out. Great safety features of the Zeniths. Oh, the big spring steel gear earning its money, but that is not going to be the landing he, that John wanted. I mean, we had a wide variety of engines. We had a wide variety of airframes all showing up here and showing what they can do. So our Viking aircraft engines, um, not only that's powered by it, but the pilot of this aircraft owns the company builds those engines and obviously they're producing some great horsepower as that super zenith gets airborne at about a hundred feet even nice job right there that is Jan Ingenfeldner it's like why can't they have a Smith that'd be a lot easier Jan <laughs> Smith Viking 195 turbo that thing got up and going 102 feet one nice job feet the line is uh, folks need to understand you're coming down from from uh, you know a few hundred feet and you're aiming for a 12 inch line yeah 
You and know? he gets it stopped at 198 feet. I think we got some people working real hard to move up the board. He was sitting at third place, and I have a feeling after that he's going to be pretty happy because I think he's probably moved up. Let's see if the Viking can hold that zenith in the air. It did. Lots of power response out of it, but unfortunately it floated him just a little bit long. Those, uh, those Alaska bush wheels give him the bounce up. So Jan's going to have to go in and, and dig a little deeper on his final pass here to try to make this happen. 185 feet. All right. I think they're going to give us some standings here in just a minute. There it is. Jay Stanford is currently leading it at 241. John Wisdom in second. Jan Eckenfelder, 287. Then Luke, Amir, and Greg. Okay. Well There's not much between second and third place. There's only six feet. Pumping the, uh, pumping the thumbs up, getting everybody excited on live air show TV. Viking aircraft engines bringing it to the Winter Classic at Paradise City Runway. Oh, that one definitely settled back down. I'm gonna say it was probably, bumped. nope, you guess it. You're the pro here. Yeah, he got it airborne, it touched again. He went for it all, even with, well, look at this. The 50 foot flag is now a quarter in headwind. 114 feet, 114. 114. The first round might be what makes it for all of our experimental bush guys. This wind switch really is, is making things difficult right for these guys. Right now, Jay Stanford's happy. He's looking at those flags. God know he's got that in his cross jack. Tells me we're going to see him again. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Look at that. You can go online to nationalstroll.com right now and get live updates on the scores as it is happening. That's a nice feature. Should should either one should one of us be paying attention to what's going on here? We, I mean, I mean, this is a good plug though. You're good. You're we're good. We're good. I'm working. All right, you're working. All right. Uh, here's coming. What's this? This is Jan, isn't it? Jan in the zenith. It is. Full span flapperons. The leading edge slats. Max. Oh, it. he got it on that one. He needed to put one together, Jeff, and he did it answered the call on his last chance here at Paradise City. I know he'll be happy with it. If it's going to be good enough to get him as high up the podium as he would like, I don't 172 know. 172 feet. Yeah, I don't know, boy. There's been some stiff competition in here. Look at the wind. Velocity is picking up. It's back to a 45 degree right quartering headwind. 286 for our Zenith with the Viking engine. I mean, we had a wide variety of engines. We had a wide variety of airframes all showing up here and showing what they can do. And hey, it really kind of boils down. These, these volunteers are right. walking off here. Everybody, whoever's left, let's give them a round of yeah, applause. These absolutely. guys. Absolutely.